So, Kotaku just updated in kind of like a news which showcases Star Wars with a new style. Uh, this is also by EA. You can be like, you know, you can just like, you know, cringe. Uh, I also cringe after hearing the news. But EA has the IP from Disney. They have not taken it yet. So they are going to make Star Wars games in the future. So you got to be used to that. And uh, it's not going to stop anytime soon. No, 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 no. So you, you, you can just hope that it changes out. Star Wars Battlefront 3 comes out in a new limelight, in a new game. Uh, it was... I would say not a disappointing game, but the worst game because of the fact how much of content was strangled around the loot box, you know. So I would say that's kind of like a choke hold on you. It's like you got you, you can play the game, but loot boxes, loot boxes, loot boxes. You know, they kind of took it and shoved up in your in your face. So you can say, yeah, EA is bad at the end of the day. We all can agree upon that. But this game looks really, really interesting. So they showcased that, you know, they had an idea for a shooter game. Uh, so you have no Star Wars shooter game. So if you don't know what kind of shooting game this is, like multiplayer, if you played it in Star Wars Battlefront 2, at least in the beta, you would have seen the galactic mode where you can have a, not assault mode, I think galactic mode where you can have X-Wings flying around, you know, if you have a, if you are good at the game, if you are good at that mode, you can get like Millennium Falcon even. So just like fly around, shoot people and stuff like that. So that's kind of like showcased in this kind of like a demo, let's say, uh, for EA to accept this project and then try out. And they also showcased from the idea of jumping from ship to ship, uh, you know, controlling multiple ships in a armada and just like going nuts. I understand the idea behind it, but the end at the end of the day, EA is what, uh, decides what goes on in terms of these things. They might even make a loot box progression in, in those games, in those sort of games as well. Uh, it's easy to do that, pretty much. So I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And uh, my sad part is actually Visceral Games um, having a Star Wars single player game taken off them because they didn't have any multiplayer functions within them. So I'm more sad about that game rather than this game because... Uh, I don't think this game is going to happen, but they said the greenlit has happened and uh, maybe this can work out in the future. This happened in 2016, so I don't have any concrete evidence that it's going to be up there in 2018 at the end of the year or 2019 start of the year. So I don't think this game is a possibility, but we got to look for E3 because they have not said anything yet. Maybe they surprise us in the E3 event. I... Don't really think so, but the possibilities are low. And uh, when I see this news, I just go, you know what? Multi-transactions, loot boxes, buy. I just go like that because it's in my mindset now that EA is not going to change. And I'm worried about Anthem. I'm worried about a lot of games uh, that EA has created in terms of IPs, in terms of older games getting a new kind of like upgrade. I, 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 I don't know. I just like... It can go both ways. Either EA gets to learn the lesson and tries to change their ways, kind of like trying to get our crust back. So they do it without any loot boxes. Even though loot boxes can be there, it will be there, but in the sidelines rather than the main game, uh, main progression line itself. And uh, the shooter game will give you a new perspective on Star Wars IP that can be done right from EA and then they released Star Wars Battlefront 3 in 2020 maybe and uh, that game has loot boxes even. It's, it does not sound very well. I don't know. What do you think about it? Kodaku released it. Um, I'll be uploading the photos uh, on my over my face throughout the video. You can check it out and uh, if you want you can go and check their site. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Maybe in E3 we will learn that there is a possibility of this game, uh, you know, created. Or it's just like a rumor. We tried to get a green lid, but it doesn't. It didn't work out. It didn't happen. Whatever it is, type it in the comments down below. That would be the question of the hour for you. What do you think about this news? Hit that like button. Share the video to friends and family. Stop posting around on that subscribe button. Also the notification icon on the sidebar, you know, there. And uh, until next time, be peculiar, stay peculiar. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.